Hey, I'm Kyle from APT. Thought I'd do a quick video on using symbols and schematics to go with our symbols book. If you haven't already ordered it, get it from us. You can download it for free. Um, it's a share so that you can see how to work with symbols and schematics. It's a quick reference guide. It can seem a little bit confusing, so I thought I'd record a quick video so you can get started quicker, how to use that book and um, how to get started with schematics. A couple of things that, that we look at in schematics about how we form those schematics. Now, the lines in between our symbols are just where the flow goes. It's just where the oil flows when we move things and when we turn things on. Some tricks about the symbols themselves. A circle or a large circle on a schematic means something that rotates. So in this particular case, we're looking at the pump and we know it's a pump because there's an arrow which points out of it. So there is flow that comes out of this particular symbol. This one over here, the arrow points into it, so it uses the oil from the circuit. So we know this one is a motor, but both of them are a large circle, which means that they are something that rotates. We can also have on our circuits a small symbol, which will be some sort of indicator. In this particular case, this one's a gauge. A diagonal arrow through anything at all means that it is variable. So in the case of the pump, if we've got a variable pump, it might have an arrow through it like this, which means the output of it is variable or the displacement of it. So in this particular case here, there's a spring on top of this valve and that spring is adjustable via an adjuster and that affects the setting of that valve. A single box is a pressure or flow control of some sort. In this particular case, it's a normally closed valve because the arrow does not line up with the lines. Uh, so this is a relief valve or a pressure control valve of some sort. Two boxes or three boxes or more means a directional valve of some sort. And each box represents a particular state or a flow path through that valve. And then we've got our lines. So solid lines are flow lines and dotted lines are pilot or signal lines is the easiest way to remember it. These final couple of things are tank or re reservoirs, and so that's where the oil goes back. It can be a little bit confusing on schematics, but in this particular case, we've got three, four symbols on the circuit, and each of those four means there's still only one tank on the system, but we're being lazy, and we're not drawing them all back to a common point. That's all it is. It can get a little bit confusing, but it can also make the drawing a lot easier, so we don't have things crossing over. The final thing to look at is how to interpret what this directional control valve is doing, or the DCV. The easiest way to think about it is my pump produces some flow. And so if I draw a line like that, the flow is coming out of the pump. And at the moment there is a blocked port there, so it's blocked. There's no oil can go through it. This is where we need to use our imagination when we want to interpret how the system works. So, if I use my imagination and I push on this particular valve, so now what I've got is I've got this other box and I'm joined straight through the arrow around and oil goes into my motor, which makes the motor go round and round and the return oil out of there goes back to the tank. So that's interpreting a DCV. So that's a quick rundown on using symbols and schematics. There's a lot more to remember in the book but if you understand these basic principles, you'll be well on the way to understanding how to read a circuit and being the guru on site.